Hi everyone, welcome to the BMP Performance YouTube channel. Happy New Year. 2018 has been a great year for us and we are looking forward to giving you a quick review on all the great stuff we've done. So what the heck happened in 2018? I can't believe it went by so fast. It did seem like it went by really fast. Um, on our YouTube channel and our social media throughout, we have grown a lot this past year and are looking forward to keeping on doing that. Like 186 videos, 4 million views, a bunch of new partnerships. It's mm -hmm. been kind of, uh, kind of crazy. Yeah worked with a bunch of great YouTubers um, and we're excited to continue that in 2019. And I mean that's really what it's about is at VMP we believe in showing you very very intimately what we do, how we make horsepower, tuning, racing, a little bit of everything. Yep, we want you guys to see it all because we think all of it's important and all of it uh, goes into developing great products and great service for us to provide. Yeah, I, the, the service is really important. Um, the products and making the horsepower, getting the products and services to you in a timely fashion is extremely important. All those areas of the business are really important to us and to you, the customer. We made a lot of freaking horsepower with this. We did. Uh, one of the things that we have always wanted to do was bring a lot of horsepower to market, and we brought it with our new Gen 3. The VMP Gen 3 has proven itself to be able to deliver over a thousand rear wheel horsepower on a lot of different applications. GT500, mm -hmm. Coyote, Coyote, both S197 and S550 have been kicking butt mm -hmm. on the track. Your S197 especially. How fast did you go? Um, the car's been 8.0 at 166 miles an hour. It's the fastest bin numbered blower car that we know of, I think. Um, yeah. With positive displacement blower. And, and this blower is only 2.65 liters, but it performs like a blower much, much larger because of the efficiency of the 2650 rotors and the design. And we've proven that out there on the track, on the dyno. We're gonna continue to prove it with cars like this one behind us. Mm -hmm. And our customers have been doing a great job with the uh, Gen 3 as well. A lot of guys at uh, Justin Young's Mod Nationals race um, were using their Gen 3s <laughs> to, I don't want to say their fullest capabilities because there's always more, but... Uh, they were using the hell out of them. Yep, right? Ariel Salinas' car. And Oscar El Morin. Yeah, yeah, and Oscar Morin and El Toro and uh, David Bowen, both were the finalists in the small blower class. And the small blower class went up to a three liter blower. So our 265 was competing with three liter blowers and not only competing, but leaving them behind. Yeah, and next year we're actually gonna change the rules to allow even bigger superchargers to compete yep. with a small weight penalty because we do not have any problem putting this up against um, all the superchargers out there. Scott Hasty was there, um, really doing awesome. His car was on in point. The uh, 6R80 class, um, cutting some awesome 60 foot times thanks to that uh, torque that the Gen 3 provides. And um, Rick Cackness was there with his blower. Rick Cackness's car is running really good now. Yeah. And he's, of course, got an 03 Cobra, and we went back and made a Gen 3, VMP Gen 3 2650 for the 03 Cobra. And uh, the black bathtub, as he calls it, is running nine threes at 151 miles an hour with stick shift, shifting gears. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You're going to be having a new racing effort for 2019. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to say it's a drawback, but the Gen 3 definitely showed us where we needed to pr improve other parts of my program, and we're looking forward to making those improvements. So you're going to have a new car, mm -hmm. extremely lightweight, mm -hmm. very fast. Kind of run Ultra Street and maybe a little bit of Renegade, maybe a little bit of Extreme Street. So we're excited to see where that car goes. How fast do you want to go with it? It should easily run a 4.9 off the trailer first time out. <laughs> so we ran the heck out of my truck and Joe's truck at My Motor Nationals. Yeah, absolutely. I set a new record, 11.1 uh, at 124. I believe that's the fastest time for a supercharged crew cab 
F-150. Like brick moving through air. Pretty, pretty much. On the top end, it doesn't really pull that hard anymore. <laughs> and Joe did an amazing job going 10-4 at my nationals um, in his truck. And just to get a vehicle that weighs that much moving like that is... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no small feat. The trucks are running great with the VMP Gen 3 blowers. We're going to continue to push the envelope with our F-150 daily drivers. <laughs> it's kind of... It's, it's kinda got a coyote, it needs a blower. Yeah. It's kind of silly to think about, but you can make anything and everything fast, and it's a whole lot of fun. When the Texas Mile rolled around in October, we headed out to Victoria, Texas with Jordan Weir from Weir Racing to watch him race his VMP Gen 3 Power GT500 and uh, race it he did. <laughs> the Texas Mile is a totally different experience. I've done it once before, you've never done it. Mm -mm. So going out there with Jordan Weir was pretty cool. He went a blistering 226 miles per hour and he backed it up, right? I think so. One evening and then the next morning with a VMP Gen 3 on a built uh, 5.8 liter GT500. So 2019 is going to be another great year. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to continuing to bring new products to market. Um, we're doing a lot with our tuning, increasing our, the applications that we offer tuning on. And um, we've done a lot in the past year to make sure that our customer experience is where we want it to be. So everybody that is ordering from us and interacting with us is getting a great customer experience and we want to continue that in 2019. So we've added a lot in terms of tuning support mm -hmm. as far as people to support tunes. We're getting tunes out faster than ever right now. All the uh, all the Black Friday sale tunes are like done and awesome. uh, and if you purchased uh, the higher level tunes that require a lot of data logging, we're just getting into that process now. We're supporting new applications like Rebecca said, like this 2018-19 F-150 with all kinds of manifold swaps. So watch for some upcoming videos. Um, supercharging the 18 and 19 Mustang and F-150 with our line of VMP TVS superchargers. That's coming as well. And uh, racing. Yep. Um, we've got an awesome sales and support team that um, are continuing to just increase their knowledge and continuing to bring us ideas of what you guys want since they're talking to you on a day-to-day -day basis. In 2018, we've grown our media department. We're really proud of it. And we're looking forward to making more installation videos, more uh, social media content, and more things to help you guys out and keep you entertained. So for 2019, we'll be launching a new vmpperformance.com website. And this, uh, this website is gonna have a much broader product offering going forward. We're making a lot more parts available from VMP Performance. Basically, anything you want for your Mustang, F-150, maybe a Chevy, Camaro, <laughs> or Corvette, or Hellcat parts, because you know those have superchargers on them too. We're looking forward to 2019 being a great year. Kicking butt and making more horsepower. Make sure you like and subscribe to the VMP Performance YouTube channel to see more products and content in 2019. And see how fast Rebecca goes. <laughs>